So just a beautiful weekend. And then I think we have uh, Monday mor morning just epitomized with this this forecast. It's a case of the Mondays, you know? <laughs> That's how it goes. Coming in hot. Yeah, I'm thinking that we will probably be dealing with at least some localized high water issues tomorrow. We have a flash flood watch out for uh, York County and some southern New Hampshire counties as well. What this means is we've got the ingredients for potential flash flooding. We've got to watch urban areas and poor drainage areas, especially since we just saw all of that rain from Elsa and we saw all of that rain over the July 4th weekend. So just something to keep in mind if you're in Southern Maine or traveling through Southern Maine tomorrow, there could be some high water issues and that could certainly have an impact on the morning commute. Also reduced visibility underneath heavy downpours. I'm thinking one to three inches of rain, a possibility. We'll get back to that in a second. But first I want to send you this picture that Maria sent us from Orono. See this halo around the sun here? That's called a 22 degree halo. And what happens is the high clouds are filled with ice crystals and those refract the sunlight and it creates this rainbow around the sun. So really a great picture. You can actually check out more pictures like this on the Near Me section of our app. We are still in a position where we need a little bit more rain. I'd prefer to not have it all come at once, especially for the Portland area and south through York County. Portland right now is running at a five and a quarter inch deficit. We've got three and a half inches in Bangor, a little over four inches in Augusta, and just under two inches in Caribou for rainfall deficits. A lot of these will be knocked out, I think, over the next week or so because we've got multiple chances for showers. We've already got heavy rain beginning just south of York County along the New Hampshire seacoast. And that is ultimately going to be where we just focus these heavy showers that repeatedly keep moving in from now through six o'clock tomorrow morning. Heavy, heavy rain expected and anything that anybody that ends up underneath those downpours will certainly see quite a bit of rainfall. Fast forward to about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's still going and finally move south around noon. Northern Maine at this point in time will be nice and sunny. Millinocket in north, you get to enjoy quite a bit of sunshine temperatures in the 80s. Elsewhere cloudy, but the majority of the rain will be from Freiburg and Portland South. Here's what we're thinking for totals. One to two or more inches of uh, potential rainfall here. Three inches certainly possible for Kittery, the Berwicks, all the way up to Wells. And about a, uh, one inch or so in Portland is what I think we'll end up seeing with all of this. We do enjoy a drier day on Tuesday, but much cooler. Onshore wind means we will keep the coastline in the 60s under these cloudy skies. This warm front approaches on a Wednesday and we get another shot at some rain overnight Wednesday into Thursday. Looks like this could bring not quite a soaking rain. I don't think it's going to be super heavy and it's going to be pretty quick moving, but certainly not uh, what we want to see given the amount of rain that we've seen over the last week or so. Seas tomorrow will be two to three feet. Northeast wind coming in around five knots. Seven day forecast is still active. Friday looks warmer. Some spots inland might even hit the 90s on Friday and Saturday with a chance of storms both days and Sunday next weekend is looking unsettled. Similar at the coastline, just a little bit cooler. Look at Tuesday. This is another chilly, cloudy July day. We uh, have seen quite a few of these so far this month. In the past few weeks, the weather's really just been keeping us on our toes. Yeah, you know, it keeps us busy. <laughs> it does. You never get bored in the weather department here. No. All right. Thanks, Mike.